Andrew McCart, IFL TV. Pro oh, I mean, they said something I shouldn't have said there. But listen, I'm here in Newcastle with Ishmael Davis. Ishmael, tell you what, I did not expect that press conference there between you and Owen McKenzie. The fire between the two years, the needle. Where'd that come from? Well, you know, I've seen him uh, telling his people to put a bet on a knockout. So I just thought, do you know what it is? Let me just make him put his money where his mouth is, isn't it? I'll bet my purse. If he's so confident in himself, you bet your purse. And we've shook on it. So hope he keeps his word, man, because uh, he'll be losing his purse on Saturday. Listen, I, hope he's get, I hope he's got a good purse, you know, you've got a good purse, because I hope it makes it, it worthwhile. Yeah, but talk to me about Owen McKenzie, undefeated fighter. Now, I spoke to Eddie Hearn uh, two weeks ago, and he said that we need fighters that are in that 10, 11, 12 and 0 to face each other, to put on a performance. If you lose, but put on a performance, you'll come back. If you win, you go on. Now, you taking on Owen McKenzie as an undefeated fighter, you're undefeated as well. I mean, this is the fight you want right now in your career. Yeah, this is the fight. Well, you know, I've come up the hard way. I didn't have amateurs. I've come up basically going around sparring everyone I've sparred every, the best in the country everyone and um, I've been hearing good things and I, and Eddie would have been hearing good things as well and um, you know this is what it's about putting our own on the line and I don't even see it as putting my own on the line it's, I see it as coming to do what I'm supposed to do do you know what I mean to excel in my career so I think Eddie will be pleased and um, I think he'll be wanting to sign me because I'm an exciting fighter I fight anyone and I'm ready to rumble, man, and I'm ready to put a good show on for the fans, and that's what, you know, that's what generates the money, man, fighters like me. Mm -hmm, definitely. Now, you mentioned Eddie will sign you, so what kind of performance are you going to show Eddie on Saturday night? Well, I'm not going to go for the stoppage, but I believe in my ability, and um, if I do what I've been learning and what I know I can do, he's not going to be seeing the last bell. Obviously, the Geordie crowd, this is, uh, you're in the lines den here, so to speak. You're in Newcastle, he's from Newcastle. There's a lot of young Geordie fighters on this bill. It's going to be Newcastle heavy, right? So you're going to be the, I don't know if underdog's the, the, the right word, but you're going to be up against it, like I said here, in the lines den. You're going to thrive on that, or do you feel pressure? Listen, man, you know, I come from the streets. There's a lot of, you know, people, there's a lot of situations where you're always in the lines den. Do you know what I mean? So I've been through a lot in my life, and uh, this is just a part of creating a better life for me and my family because obviously I've left that life and this is my life now so I'm ready for it and it, it just gives me motivation and um, I'm going to love hearing the boos but when I when I exit the the, the ring I'm going to love hearing the cheers. Tell you what, you've got, probably got the best man on, in your corner and Sonny Edwards when it comes to backing you and um, whether that be on Instagram, Twitter, media or whatever, Sonny Edwards seems to have got your back through and through so just touch me on Sonny. Sonny's my boy man, you know what I mean, that's family. We, uh, I'm the same with him, you know, I back him, he backs me. That's what a friendship's supposed to be, a true friendship anyway. There's a lot of fakes around in a, Sonny's not one of them, he's a real one in um He's done what he said he think he could do, because he didn't promise me nothing. He just said, I believe that I can get you through these doors. You're a fighter that wants to fight, you're not scared. And he's done what he said he, he, he thought he could do. So, you know, I just have gratitude for everything and um, I'm happy. And I, and I uh, appreciate everything he's done. Matchroom debut, live on the zone against an undefeated opponent in his hometown, Lions Den, like I said to you. You're putting your O on the line. There's a lot to it. This is the fight you've been dreaming of, no doubt, since you started boxing. Um, just talking about how excited you are right now. The press conference alone was exciting, so the fight itself, I'm, I'm expecting fireworks. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. Do you know what I mean? I've got custom boots, got a custom kit. I believe that I have the best kits in England because I watch a lot of American boxers and they shine. They look good while they're doing the business. They look good and fight good. Do you know what I mean? So I'm excited, man. I'm ready to put on a show. I'm ready to come out and show. This is my coming out party. I'm ready to show who I am. You know, I hope people like got a bit of my personality there. Do you know what I mean? And um, I'll be an entertaining fighter, man, for the boxing world. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited. You feel, you feel, I'm excited too. And I'm old school. I like the Mike Tyson. I like black boots, black shorts, towel wrap ranger. That is all. That, that's all I like. I like Mike Tyson, old school. But listen, the flashy. I can do with the flashy as well. Now, the purse bid. Uh, not the purse, but the purse that you've, you've bet with, uh, with Owen McKenzie. How serious is that? Come on. We've seen fighters do this before and nobody's paid up because obviously the contract and all that sort of stuff. But is that for real? Listen, I'm a man of my word. We'll see if he's a man of his word because it's not going to be my purse that's going. So you need to ask him that question. <laughs> I will do whatever he'd be still about. Listen, Ishmael, one final one, like I said to you. I've rattled off all these things. Match from debut, Dijon and all this sort of stuff. Lions Den. Um, the majority fans love their boxing. I've been up here a good few times in Lewis Ritz in the early days and they're passionate. They're, they sing. They get the, they get the whole arena buzzing. Um, what can they expect from yourself on Saturday night? You can expect skill. You know, I'm a boxer that... Um 
like I said, I watch a lot of the American boxers, Shakar Stevenson, I, I watch a lot of them, and um, Terence Crawford, you know, he's he's a person that I watch a lot. You know, he goes out there, he doesn't go for the stoppage, he just boxes and does what he's been learning. And yeah, that's the sort of fighter I am, a switch hitter. And obviously, he wins um, southpaw, but I've been making him feel uncomfortable and I've been making him feel like he's in there with a southpaw. I've been beating him at his own game. And yeah, man, um, I hope you look forward to watching it because it's going to be a good, good cracking fight. Listen, Ishmael Davis, I am looking forward to it. I cannot wait. Pleasure to meet you for the first time, big man, and I'll see you in the next one, OK? Thanks, brother. Thank you.